What's up, people? Zoe TV is a Christian TV channel aimed at sharing the gospel with the young people today. And we know that today there's so much information out here that is not true. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of misleading information. And that is why Zoe TV is here so that we can get to share the truth of God's word. And we invite you to partner with us, amazing programs, just to help the young people with the right information, which is the word of God. Remember, the word of God is life and spirit. And that is why Zoe TV first priority is to share the truth of God's word to the young people today and so we invite you to partner with Zoe TV as we get to keep the gospel of Christ Jesus to all the young people of Kenya today. My name is Tess Waka and this is Zoe TV inspiring lives. Today is Wednesday and Wednesdays we get to talk about relationships we get to have conversations around matters relationships and today we are going to have a conversation around matters dating, matters, you know, early marriages and actually just marriages. Just a wide conversation we're going to have in studio this morning. And therefore, our guest in studio, she is a counseling psychology. She will tell us more about that. She is an author. She is a singer. I think you do quite a number of things. You wear many, many hats. Well, maybe for someone who's watching you this morning and they want to know more about you, you can help them just get to know more about who you are and what to do as you get into the conversation today. My name is Mary Minamu. I'm a counseling psychologist. I'm a relationship coach, an author of the book, A Responsive Spouse. I'm also a musician and a, and a songwriter. Thank you so much. I mean, there you have it. She wears many, many hats. I mean, yes. you, you do quite a number of things. You are a counseling psychologist. Yes. You are an author. Mm. You are a song. You are a, you are a singer and a songwriter. So because writer. you have to distinguish the two. Yes, yes. There are people I'm who a sing. singer and a songwriter. The people who write songs, but they can't they sing. They can't sing, yes. And I think songwriting ought to be something we encourage a lot because there are people who feel like because they cannot sing, mm -hmm. they have nothing musical in them, and yet perhaps they could be great songwriters. I think when it comes to songwriting, the way I've come to see it, mm -hmm. some people are good songwriters, mm -hmm. but they are not able to sing. Yes. Some people are not songwriters, mm -hmm. but they can sing well. So mm. I think songwriting is also a gift from God. Yes. Because some people are not able. I have friends who are good musicians, mm -hmm. but they are not able to write music. Mm -hmm. And when they write music, maybe it's not so nice music mm -hmm. to them. Yes. But maybe to people it might be good music. I think it's also a gift. Mm -hmm. There are people who are gifted. It is, yeah. a, it is a gift, actually. It's a gift. And, and, and I think we need to encourage songwriting. Mm -hmm. uh, because there are people who feel, because I mm -hmm. cannot sing, mm -hmm. there is no musical thing that I can do. Mm -hmm. And yet, perhaps they could be very very Good song. gifted songwriters sure sure some of the hymns we sing today mm -hmm. they were written yeah by writers mm -hmm. but they were sung mm -hmm. by a different person yes wow awesome we look forward to maybe getting do you have some of your music on youtube yes i do the name do. Mary, mary moinamu mary moinamu yes that's my name our director on YouTube. yes i hope our director is able to get some of your song we can yes. get to Please. Even during the program, yes, we can be able to get to you know, enjoy and get blessed by some of your music. I'll be happy. Wonderful. <laughs> yes. How long have you been on on music and singing? Okay, I started singing a long time ago, mm -hmm. but officially I released my first album from 2015. Mm -hmm. I think I finished the whole project 2016. Because I started with a single, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't have the courage to sing. Yes. We started. I started far. Okay. And so I just decided let me just try my best and complete the album okay so by 2016 everything was out okay yeah so now you are an author you are a counselor mm -hmm. you are a singer yes you're a songwriter yes my goodness i thank god for that all in one person <laughs> yes all in one person yes i thank god and I, I love the book, although mm -hmm. we may, if we get some time, we can talk a little bit about, this is a book that she has written. It's mm -hmm. called A Responsive Spouse. Yes. What made you write this book on A Responsive Spouse? Okay, the reason as to why I came up with this idea mm -hmm. of writing the book, yes. as I was doing my practice and interacting with the people when I was doing relationship talks and mm -hmm. all that, mm -hmm. I met couples. Mm -hmm. And people were in distress because the relationship maybe was not working okay. or the marriage was not working. Mm -hmm. And so they needed something, they needed a solution. Okay. And they didn't have a solution. Mm -hmm. But the solution was with them, according to me. Okay. Because simply, maybe by just interacting with them, mm -hmm. I realized they are not able either to communicate well. Mm -hmm. Just 
basic things mm. that you need to understand on how to treat your wife or okay. your husband or how to treat your spouse. Yeah. So that's how I came up with a responsive spouse. Mm -hmm. Because if a spouse is responsive, mm -hmm. they are able to be keen mm -hmm. and understand what is it that the other person wants. Okay. Simply that. Wow. Mm. So the solution many times is in the couple. The solution is just in the couple. It's just yourselves. Wow. Yeah. You work it out. And so your work is especially sometimes to help them identify where the solution lies within them. Just identify and actually mm. it's not, okay, identify but mostly just to know. Okay. Where, where is the problem? Okay. What is it do I need to do mm -hmm. to be able to solve this problem that has come up? Okay. You see? Yes. And once you realize where the problem is, once you identify like you're saying, mm -hmm. then you're able to solve the problem. Maybe it's just simply communication. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just um, a conflict that mm -hmm. was piled up okay. and was not resolved. Okay. And if you resolve that conflict, then you're good to go. You, you know, I'm looking at the approach of your practice because yes. you're a counseling psychologist. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that you have done counseling in psychology or how do you distinguish a counseling psychology? Okay. Psychologist Can, counseling, from just psych a counseling psychology is wide. It's okay. broad. You know, people who even do drugs, uh, okay. psychiatrists, and you can specialize you whatever specialize. area you want. Okay. But when I was doing counseling psychology, mm -hmm. I just wanted to have basic understanding mm -hmm. and general understanding of people and psychology, because mm -hmm. first I did psychology, pure psychology, mm -hmm. then I did counseling psychology. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to understand mm -hmm. the base, the general understanding of how you want to understand human beings. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I knew I want to specialize in marriage mm -hmm. and relationships. Okay. So let me say, at the moment, I don't practice as a counselor. Okay. But the reason as I was doing counseling psychology is to have a, a basis to be able to understand mm. people so that when I specialize and go to relationships and marriage, mm -hmm. I'll be able to understand some of the things that I needed to know. Okay. Yeah. My goodness. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I don't practice as a counselor. Mm -hmm. You practice as? Mostly I practice as a relationship coach. Mm -hmm. I don't like to say a relationship coach because I cannot train everyone how to relate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to get a better name for that. Okay. But maybe, um, I like to inspire people on okay. what I know about marriage and relationships. Yes. Yeah. I still think that falls under counseling. It's false. It's, it's still part of counseling. Uh -huh. But you know when you are in an <laughs> office doing counseling psychology, mm -hmm. there is how you go about it. Yes. They are, they are, you know, everything has like in the media, there is yes. what you follow. Yes. So in counseling psychology, it's not like I come and tell people some of the things like whatever is it that I'm doing, I'm creating more of awareness, creating awareness. Okay. Counseling, you cannot do it on TV. You cannot counsel people just like that. Yes. It has to follow a certain process. Okay. So that's why I say mostly I don't practice counseling psychology as supposed the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Because if I were to have a couple here, mm -hmm and we go through the process of counseling, mm -hmm. we will not do it the way we are doing it. Yes. Yeah. So, so you are more of a relationship coach. Coach, yeah. More of creating awareness mm -hmm. and coming up with solutions mm -hmm. that I think would help families, mm -hmm. marriages, mm -hmm. uh, every kind of relationships in our lifetime. Okay. Yeah. You know, when I meet psychologists, because mm -hmm. you've done psychology people, mm -hmm. you know, I think about, you know, they are reading my mind, now they are thinking <laughs> about my behavior, they are analyzing who I am. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sometimes you do. Sometimes you look at a person <laughs> and you see the way they are behaving and yes. you just come up sometimes with a conclusion, ah, maybe yeah. they have this issue, this yes. challenge of this or that. <laughs> but you are not, not every time. Yes. It's maybe sometimes when something outstand. Yes. Uh, uh, sorry, stands up, mm -hmm. stand out. Yes. And then you are thinking, oh, I think this is a, a problem. Wow. But not every time. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. morning we are just having a conversation in studio right here with our guest in studio, Mary Muinamu, and she is really wearing a lot of hats. This morning she's coming to us as a relationship coach, and perhaps you may need one in your marriage, perhaps you're married, and maybe with your husband or your wife, you may need somebody who can help you to identify the solutions that according to her are most, in most cases within you already. I mean, you came together, you got married, and there's going to be something that brought, to, that brought you together. And, uh, and her work is to just to help you grow in that relationship. She is such a resourceful person with such a, you know, I can just really feel it. 
a very deep uh, foundation as far as um, counseling and psychology is concerned. And this is the kind of person that we need to really engage this morning on some of the things that we're going to be talking about today. So today we get to talk about dating. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this is where marriages start. This is mm. where the journey into marriage starts. Mm. If you get it wrong during dating, you can get it wrong all the way. Yes. Or it can take you a long time yes. to recover. Mm. But from where you see it as a relationship coach, mm. what is dating? Okay, um, relationship, dating. I like, I like calling it uh, courtship. Courtship. <laughs> is there a difference dating. between courtship and dating? Okay. I tend to think courtship, okay, I can't really... Maybe I've not really taken my time to look at the dating and the courtship di difference. Okay. But I find dating like it's more of uh, people relating even when they are not supposed to be in a relationship. Dating? Yes, the way I see it. Okay. And maybe you can check <laughs> for me. Yes. And then courtship. Yes. I think courtship is the right word because mm -hmm. courtship is when now you are set for marriage. Okay. And you want to have a relationship. Mm -hmm. And that is heading to marriage. Okay. So that's the way I see. So I love to talk more about courtship mm -hmm. because this is when you are mature, you are ready for marriage, mm -hmm. and you want to get into marriage. Okay. However, mm -hmm. people I find people talking about dating. Mm -hmm. When I see, when I think about dating, or when I think about relationship in general, yes. when somebody say I'm in a relationship, you know, people even when they are teenagers, they say I'm in a relationship. Yes. But the question is, where is this relationship headed? Mm -hmm. You see, yes. you're in high school, you have a boyfriend, you're in high school, you have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. After that, mm -hmm. after you tell them you love them, what next? What next? <laughs> Where are you taking Where them? Where are you taking them? Mm -hmm. Nowhere. Yes, you have no place to take them. <laughs> you're just creating distraction for your life. Yes. So I think maybe make, make, make me get it clear. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about... You want us to talk about the relationship that is that from high school or the courtship when you are now ready for marriage? First of all, I think it's important for us to talk mm -hmm. about this relationship mm -hmm. that young boys and girls are getting into mm -hmm. and why mm -hmm. uh, it is not right to mm -hmm. get into a relationship, boy-girl relationship, until a particular time. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll spend some good time talking about people who are actually courting. And, and what they can do in that season. But perhaps, maybe mm -hmm. as a word of, of caution, mm -hmm. for, for, you know, because I see even students in high schools, mm -hmm. even primary schools, yes. having girlfriends and boyfriends. Yes. What caution would you have for that person? I think what is really messing us, especially these days, mm -hmm. okay, in the older days, we used to have relationships as well. We used okay. to engage ourselves in relationships. When okay. you were in high school, we used to have boyfriends, girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> I remember and I laughed. Letters. You know, <laughs> remember those letters people were writing on Yes, another. letters. There were no emails and yes. there were no phone calls. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I think there is that stage, definitely. Yes. And you cannot deny it. Yes. There is that stage when somebody, you, f you, you get to that, uh, is it that teen teenage stage? Yes. And your body changes. Yes. And you have all these desires, which yes. is very okay and very normal. Yes. Because this is what God has created. Mm -hmm. And like I said, somebody said, if you see somebody, your girl or your boy attracted to the opposite sex, it's very normal and it's okay. Okay. Yes. You should First of be all, it happy. is okay. You should thank God that yes. she's attracted to the opposite sex. <laughs> anyway. We are living in strange yes, days. Yes, yes, strange days. Yes. So it shows they are normal. Yes. But now, how do you caution them not to indulge into um, this? relationships that do not add anywhere. Yes. So you need to take your time as a parent. Now mm -hmm. that one is for parents okay. to ensure that you make your children understand. Mm -hmm. Of course even the teachers do that. Mm -hmm. But I think a parent has it all mm -hmm. in the first place. Mm -hmm. Because you need to let them know. You need to go uh, you need to study, finish your education. Mm -hmm. Once you finish your education, mm -hmm. then from there you can decide to Mm -hmm. uh, whether you want to get married and get into a relationship. And let them understand, okay, there is the high school phase, mm -hmm. there is the campus phase. Mm -hmm. After campus, you need to settle, you need to be dependent. Mm -hmm. You need to be, if it's a boy, you need to be working. If it's mm -hmm. a girl, you need to be dependent also. Okay. Because assuming you're in a relationship, you're a boy in high school, mm -hmm. you get into this relationship, into, into this relationship with mm -hmm. a girl. Mm -hmm. The next thing is pregnancy, mm -hmm. and that messes the life of the other person. Yes. So 
what is you, you need to know what is it do I want? Mm. Okay, fine, I'm attracted and it's okay, but I need to control myself. Yes. Because it's not yet time. Mm -hmm. And focus. Mm -hmm. Maybe focus on your studies. Whatever mm -hmm. is it that you are doing, focus, mm -hmm. study, mm -hmm. and le and then once you clear, mm -hmm. you need to have uh, a clear understanding in your mind. Mm -hmm. What kind of a woman would I like when mm -hmm. I grow up? Mm -hmm. Because you cannot just marry everyone. Mm -hmm. The problem we have these days mm -hmm. is um, guys want to, to, to get into re different relationships. Okay. Like you get into campus, you have a relationship in the mm -hmm. first year, second year, different person, mm -hmm. another year, two different people. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. it doesn't work like yes. that. You yes. need to be clear, who do I want? Firstly, mm -hmm. I'm here to study. Mm -hmm. Excel in your academic yes. academics. Mm -hmm. Once you excel, then after that, you can focus and say, now mm. I can start my relationship, we can start dating. Okay. And by that, before you even start dating, mm. what kind of a woman do you want? Mm. You mm. need to know, what kind of a man do I want? Yes. Do you see those characters in that person? Mm. What is it that you are looking for? Because okay. the problem we have these days, um, I just have so much in my mind. Yes. Happen. <laughs> the problem poor, we have these everything. days, yes. uh, many people are acting so much, especially the younger generation. Okay. They don't want to be real, the, real to themselves. Yes. They want to work, they want to pretend mm -hmm. I'm this kind of a person, mm -hmm. or I'm the urban person, mm -hmm. I'm the high-end person. Yes. You see? And even the kind of treatment. For instance, you have this lady who want to be taken for out. Mm -hmm. There's this guy. He w he's trying his best to show the girl mm -hmm. that I have it all. Okay. But still, he's not yet there. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. the lady also wants to be treated like the queen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and doesn't want to reason and mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. that this guy may not have the money oh. to do all that, yeah. the kind of glamour. Yes. And then all of a sudden, they are not they're in conflict mm -hmm. just because mm -hmm. they are not real to themselves. Yes. Because I believe this is how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. As a man, mm -hmm. when you okay. approach a woman, mm -hmm. they need to know who you are. Yes. And in the first place, normally I normally, I normally say it's good to date somebody who, are, who, know, who you already know. Mm -hmm. Especially if you've been friends with somebody mm -hmm. for long. Maybe you've been in one group, doing things together, mm -hmm. activities, in mm -hmm. church or whatever. Mm -hmm. Doing things together make you know the person just as they are. Mm -hmm. This person is not acting. Mm -hmm. They are just behaving as they are. Yes. And they are not, they even don't know they'll get a husband there or a wife. Yes. You see? Yes. So there's nobody who is acting here. Mm -hmm. You see those groups in churches, the way people behave, people they are, are just real. real. Mm -hmm. When you get to know that person, mm -hmm. in their natural environment, mm -hmm. how they behave, mm -hmm. who they are, mm -hmm. then getting that person to marry will not be hard. But approaching somebody from somewhere else that you don't know, I normally say, yes, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. But if you get somebody from somewhere, mm -hmm. make sure, take your time, mm -hmm. make sure you know them. Because yeah. after one year or two years, mm -hmm. you'll be shocked by the kind of a person you'll see. But the, the mere fact, because they were acting, mm -hmm. just they were acting, mm -hmm. because they knew this person is interested in me. Mm -hmm. So I'll do my best to act mm -hmm. until the time you get to that house. Wow. Then you'll be shocked. That's why we have so m some m m people breaking in marriage just within first two, second year, uh, first two, uh, first year, second and third year. Very heartbreaking. In fact, yeah. some people don't even go past the first mm -hmm. year. Yeah. You some in honeymoon. <laughs> sometimes you see these young people mm -hmm. rushing to get married. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't even listen to counsel. Yes, they, they rush don't to know get to married. Mm -hmm. And then in the first, you know, like in the first few months, mm -hmm. again, they don't want to stay in the marriage. You feel mm -hmm. like you want to beat them up. Yes, but now what can you do? Especially for you the, I, I, I feel for the parents because sometimes people, you just go get somebody, they are, they are nice looking, good, you get attracted to them, but you don't know their character. You've not seen them, you've not seen them in the past. You don't know their dark parts. And you don't know them yes. in their natural environment. Environment. No, My goodness, see. wow. So I think we really need to take our time. I think the problem we have these days, mm. uh, because of the social media and the, the, the movies that mm -hmm. people s watch or whatever, mm -hmm. the marriage and relationship, people try to make it so, I don't know how they, they spice it so much that yes. you think it's, I don't know, it's hot. I don't know how to describe it. But once you get into it, there is work to do. Now, I want us to hold it right there because one of the things that I want us to come back and talk about, mm -hmm. we're just about to take a break right now. Yes. One of the things we'll come back and talk about is the pressure mm -hmm. of 
marriage, mm -hmm. of getting married, yes. the pressure is real. Yes. I mean, the pressure is real. Yeah. And uh, the pressure of even courting, dating, the pressure of being, the pressure mm -hmm. is, we are living in the days when people yes. are really getting married, yes. even mm -hmm. because of the pressure. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to keep it right here because we have in studio a lady who's so resourceful this morning, Mary Muinamo, and she's talking to us on matters relationship and uh, great insights over there. If you're a student, if you're, if you're in school, if you're in campus, take that counsel. You are not ready for it. You're not ready for marriage yet. You may not even know what you want in a man. You may not even know what you want in a woman. You can wait. And there is every reason for you to be able to wait. Don't commit to somebody before you get to know them in their natural environment. I never thought about it that way. I mean, uh, you need to get to know someone in their natural environment when there is no need for them to impress you. You need to know how they look like, how they talk, before you can even consider getting married to that particular person. As I continue the conversation this morning, mm -hmm. um, what really inspired you to write that song? I mean, like, Jesus holds my destiny. Wow, good question. Um, the reason as to why I did that song, mm -hmm. I was going through some challenges okay. when it comes to music. Okay. And you know music can be challenging. Yes. Especially when you want to get it through, to get it played and all that. Mm -hmm. So there were obstacles, let yes. me just say. Yes. And because of these obstacles, there, uh, it came a point I was saying, it doesn't matter what comes my way, Jesus hold my destiny. And God gave me that song, that chorus at first, Jesus okay. hold my destiny. Yes. So he said, it doesn't matter what will happen, mm -hmm. but what I know is that God hold my destiny and he'll hold my hand to the end. Wow. So that's what inspired me. It's a beautiful song. Thank you so much. It's a great song, great yes. video, great song, great, me Thank great you. message. Thank you. You know, I think... Um, People just imagine that life just happens. Mm. They don't think that actually God is involved. Yes, God is involved. In matters destiny. Yes, more than we thought. Wow, let's get on to back to our conversation. Yes. There, there are many people today who talk about the pressure mm -hmm. and the people who feel like, you know, they can't even go home during the holidays because mm -hmm. they don't want their mothers, their mm -hmm. relatives to again pose mm -hmm. the question, mm -hmm. when are you getting married? Tunakula pilau lini, mchele tunakula lini, and there are people who get haunted by that. Just how how are you able to move on? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, how how are you able to move on despite the pressure of dating, courting, marriage? How do you make it through? Okay, I think at first there is the glamour. That's why everyone wants to get into this relationship. Okay. Another thing, when it gets to a point now you're of age mm -hmm. and people are asking you, Mchele, uh, like you said, yes. um, people need to sit back and think what is it that this man or this lady is going through. Because mm -hmm. me, I have been, I have friends who from both sides who mm -hmm. are not married, mm -hmm. and at times they say, I've not yet met the right person. Okay. Sometimes you see the guy is good, mm -hmm. the man is good, mm -hmm. the people have interacted with, mm -hmm. but they have not yet found the right person. Okay. The challenge is, mm -hmm. some of the challenge I see them say, I'll just share what people yes. normally say. Yes. Like for instance, I came across a guy, mm -hmm. very okay, working, he can get married okay. anytime. Okay. But the challenge is, there is no right woman for marriage. There is no right ready f lady for marriage. Mm -hmm. Why is it so? And to him, it was like, you know the problem with these girls? Mm -hmm. They want money more than you. <laughs> that was his answer first, yes. first yes. answer. Yes. They want money more than you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how do you know they want money more than you? Because you can't see it. And definitely, um, that's very true. Mm -hmm. You can't see. Mm -hmm. Somebody who loves you just for who you are, mm -hmm. and loves you because of money mm -hmm. or because of the things that you have. Mm -hmm. So the challenge is, how do I get a genuine person? Mm -hmm. For instance, you are a guy. You are settled, you are ready for marriage, mm -hmm. and he is, uh, you are looking for somebody. Definitely, you are marketable. I know girls right. want you, they are running after you. Mm -hmm. So how do you know who loves you for who you are? Assuming that money mm -hmm. just disappears mm -hmm. within a day, mm -hmm. and you are back to zero. Mm -hmm. Will that person still love you the way they are running after you? <coughs> That's the question. Mm -hmm. If they cannot, then they are not the right person. Mm -hmm. But if somebody can die with you, mm -hmm. like we say in marriage, for better for worse, yes. then that is the right person to marry. Another thing, mm -hmm. that is one thing, mm -hmm. money. Yes. Ladies learning after guys or 
guys because of money. Mm -hmm. If a guy is settled, mm -hmm. there are so many reasons. Another thing mm -hmm. is, um, other than money, another thing is um, maybe, okay, le let me first say it on the side of the lady. Okay. Maybe the girl is not ready for marriage. Mm -hmm. How do I say that? Mm -hmm. She's a grown up, mm -hmm. but doesn't know how to do basic things. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. another thing mm -hmm. the guy said. Okay. They cannot be able to cook. Mm -hmm. You know the way there's a generation that I have come across that was raised by maybe house helps. Okay. And maybe the parents thought it's for the house help to do everything. The yes. washing, the dishes, the everything, yes. name it. Yes. And the girls were not involved in any tasks. Mm -hmm. And this kind of bring you you raise girls you raise girls that are not mature in terms of they cannot do anything for responsibilities. themselves responsibilities mm -hmm. they don't know how to wash clothes mm -hmm. they don't know that when you're washing clothes you don't mix black and white mm -hmm. they mix everything together mm -hmm. and those basic things assuming you don't have the washer mm -hmm. you don't have the the dishwasher as well mm -hmm. what do you normally what will you use you mm -hmm. may have the money mm -hmm. but you don't have all that yes you need to use to use your hands. Mm -hmm. So the complaint was most girls don't know how to cook, okay. to wash, mm -hmm. to keep the house clean, mm -hmm. basic things. Okay. Like they are just there in the house and the house is messy. Mm -hmm. So what do you see? The mm -hmm. man is here, you've seen a girl, but the girl is not ready. Yes. As in this, she's okay, she's mm -hmm. educated, mm -hmm. she has a good job, yes. but very messy. Mm -hmm. With somebody who does know who doesn't know how to keep a home. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. that's another problem. Yes. So you find yes, girls are there. Mm -hmm. They go to church. Mm -hmm. They are good girls if you are a Christian. Mm -hmm. But then there is this part. There's another category. Girls are there but then they want you because they are it's kind of their last thing for you. Mm -hmm. Not that they want somebody to be a husband, mm. but they just want to be associated with somebody. The idea of marriage. Yeah, the, yes. Mm -hmm. But they're not willing to commit. Yes. And these are the kind of a man will see, okay, I get, I pick this lady, mm -hmm. they are last full. Mm -hmm. All they want is maybe just to go mm -hmm. sleep with me, mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. And then from there, mm -hmm. what else? Mm -hmm. Maybe they just want a baby from me, mm -hmm. and then they want to keep the baby and mm -hmm. <laughs> help them raise the mm -hmm. baby. We have so many different people these days. All the list is reasons. endless. Yes. Yeah. So those are that that how you find a man has gone home, mm -hmm. uh, and then they don't they're still not married, mm -hmm. and the parents are asking, but they don't know what this guy is going through. Mm -hmm. Another thing, another another thing is that men, some men don't know what they want. And oh, so okay. they keep jumping from one lady to another. Mm -hmm. There are girls that are ready for marriage, they are good, mm -hmm. but there's this kind of perfect person you want. Mm -hmm. Why will you find a perfect person? You would tell them if you're married, will you find a perfect person? No perfect you have person. to compromise on to something. Yes. And if something is something that is not so be major, mm -hmm. you can compromise on. Mm -hmm. If you wanted a light person, a tall person, and a short person comes, why not? Why not? <laughs> Yes. I mean, it's, it's, the person yeah, is good. Yeah, he's good. He has everything. Just the hate. Yes. Or the skin color. <laughs> there, are, there are people I think who don't know hmm? what they're looking for. Yes, they don't know. And maybe th that's mm. why it's good to distinguish between mm -hmm. imperfection. Those mm -hmm. things you can say, no one is perfect. No so one is perfect. You know, that's a good person. Yeah. That, you know, yeah. so you can actually have them, mm -hmm. even though they are shorter, mm -hmm. or you know, maybe mm -hmm. they have this challenge mm -hmm. because you never choose the area of imperfection. Yes. And uh, how do you distinguish an area of imperfection and what is called a red flag? Okay. Um, do we go to that or, you know, men might say, you've been hard on us. What about women? Okay, <laughs> let's, then let's okay. finish on that and then we go to this other one. Okay. So now, before we go to that, yes. I was talking about a man who's yes. not married. Yes. Now here comes a lady. Yes. She's not married. And yes. the pressure is so hard on her. Yes. And the challenge with women, if you get to some age, mm -hmm. people's, okay, I don't want to use that. If you get to some age, mm -hmm. people feel like you are getting out, you are outdated. Let me oh, just, you're running late, yeah, you're late. yeah. Okay. And me, I normally say you are not, as long as you're with God. And God has a plan for you. Uh. You are not. Mm -hmm. Because you never know what is God's plan. Yes. You may get married at tw 26, 27, 28, 29, mm -hmm. 30, 30, 35, 40, mm -hmm. even 45, yes. almost 50. I it's know still someone okay. got married at 50. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's still okay. There's mm -hmm. no problem with that. Mm -hmm. But the pressure is too high, especially on the ladies. Mm -hmm. But the challenge with women, mm -hmm. being a lady, mm -hmm. you know, like in our African setting, mm -hmm. other than maybe there's, there's a culture that is coming up that is saying, even if a lady asks a man, it's still okay. Mm -hmm. But in our culture, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, it's coming up. Yes. In our culture, the way most of the ladies are... I would say the most of the ladies are, mm -hmm. they believe that I need a man to come and approach me mm -hmm. and then I can move on, as, yeah. as in he has to start. Yes. And the challenge with most women is I admire a guy, I like him, mm -hmm. he's good, mm -hmm. but I cannot start. Mm -hmm. He has to come first. He has to be the one asking. So I also kind of sympathize with them because yes. you have to wait until somebody comes. Yes, yes. <laughs> It is not what if somebody is not, not coming? What yes. do you do? Mm. And you are you believe in that kind of um, old fashioned style? I have, yeah, I have to be approached. I have to be approached, mm. which was also for me. I think I believe in that. I have mm. to be approached. And so, if somebody is not coming, what do I do? Uh -huh. You see, uh -huh. you're in a dilemma for a lady more yeah. than a man. A man yeah. can choose and identify as long as you know what you want. You go for a lady. But also, the actually? ladies, we have a problem. We are acting too hard. Uh -huh to get or to fight because okay. a man comes mm -hmm. show interest mm -hmm. but you have your standards hmm. the man is here interested in marrying yes. you but you have your own standards yes and the standards can be really really high they can be really high what do you expect the man to do he'll just leave you and go and get married to somebody who has lower standards and some of the standards even some ladies are like you know let me pray mm -hmm. about it mm -hmm. i mean they love the guy mm -hmm. the guy is good mm -hmm. but they just are not just decided. It's like indecisiveness. Mm -hmm. It's like what people say, playing hard to yeah, get. Yeah, playing hard to get. By the time you are done playing hard By to get, by the time you realize you're already gone. Oh, yeah, you're old. I've come across ladies who are saying, "Oh my God, there was this guy who wanted to marry me at the age of 26, and I played hard to get, and now he's happily married. He, yeah, I'm now that is all 40s. Yes, and I don't know what to do. And they regret a lot. And regret a lot. Because so if you ha find a good person. Mm -hmm. I normally say, uh, God bless us with resources. Mm. Don't look about material things. Yes. Today you can get married to a billionaire and tomorrow they don't have anything. Mm. Mm. As long as the person has principles and yeah. characters that align with yours. And we'll come to that in just a bit. Because uh -huh. I'd like for you to talk mm. to us about mm -hmm. what to look for in the person you want to court. Let me just use the word courting. Because mm -hmm. a relationship that is going towards marriage. Yes. Uh, what should one look for? But before we get mm -hmm. there... Um, I got a question, I think, at, actually yeah. just about last week, mm -hmm. about is it okay for a lady mm -hmm. to ask a man? Because it could be there are men who are just quiet, mm -hmm. they are more, you know, like, um, they are more quiet guys, they, they, the, they could be the shy type mm -hmm. of a guy, mm -hmm. can't start a conversation. Mm -hmm. For that kind of a person, and a lady can see the guy, and mm -hmm. the guy is okay, you know, the, he's a good man, mm -hmm. he, he, you know, they can get married to this person, but they just, the guy is just not having the confidence to ask the question. Are there exceptions? Does the guy love the, the lady? There's a connection. There's a connection. There's, is, mm -hmm. There is a connection. Mm -hmm. There's a connection. Mm -hmm. And so the lady is like, is it okay to just ask so I'm sure whether there's anything here or I should just move on? Okay. Um... That connection, I don't know, is their interest. Because if a lady, you are available and you are, be available somehow. When, if this is a guy mm -hmm. and you feel like you want to ask them, mm -hmm. um, I'm not in for asking the guy mm -hmm. because you don't know what they are thinking about. Maybe yes. they're just observing and looking at you, trying to find out, are you the right person? Are you okay? okay. Be available mm -hmm. in the conversation. If you are friends, in that conversation, mm -hmm. he might say it. Okay. Indirectly. All right. And if he says it indirectly, uh -huh. if he's decided, because I tend to think the man is the one who steer the family. Yes. I tend to think if you ask the man, okay, there are people who believe in this. I'm not against it. Okay. And if it works for you, fine. <laughs> Maybe you are now you you are nervous <laughs> and you are not able to ask. Yes. And the lady has told you a word and probed something. Yes. And you are like, wow, yes, I was just afraid. I, I couldn't be able to face you or ask you this. But we can move on. And then he takes it up. It's fine. I don't yeah. think there's a problem with that. There are also men who fear rejection. Maybe that's yeah, why they don't want to Yeah, fear rejection. But I believe if you see a lady who is around you, hanging around you, you are talking things, uh -huh. they are interested in you. Yes. Pop a word. 
how many people have been rejected? Don't Ongea. fear. Ongea. <laughs> 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 yes, Ongea. Ongea. <laughs> yes. Ongea, let ask uh, her. You know? Yeah, ask her. Acha mm hakatai -hmm. amea. Ukimuliza sana, she'll have the courage. Yes. But then, if he's a lady, I don't know how ladies ask men. They need somebody <laughs> to advise. <laughs> If you're a lady out there, maybe to act for you. Talk to us. Let us know how does it work. How does a lady ask a man out? Yes, as, that one is hard for me. Anyway, but I think <laughs> what I can say on that side, maybe yes. be available. Yes. Maybe you can be available. You can be, be available. You can be available. So if this man is courageous enough, mm -hmm. sure enough, what kind of a man is this who is not even able to ask anything? Mm. He should be able to ask you something or try to insinuate yes. something. Yes, yes. And now because you are ready and you know you are interested, mm -hmm. then you can um, continue with the conversation and then he will know you are interested. Maybe. Now, now something else that is quite <laughs> common mm -hmm. nowadays where ladies feel, we live in a day, and these are good days, mm -hmm. where the girl child has become well empowered, mm -hmm. really want to really appreciate mm -hmm. and acknowledge every effort mm -hmm. because the African girl especially was left behind, yes. way, way behind. Mm -hmm. It has taken a lot of work, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of lobbying, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of, a lot has gone mm -hmm. into just empowering the girl mm -hmm. and building the confidence mm -hmm. in the woman, mm -hmm. which is really good. Mm -hmm. And we've seen women rising up to places of you know mm -hmm. leadership, mm -hmm. government, and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. We have bills mm -hmm. in parliament mm -hmm. that and policies in governance mm -hmm. that will seek to ensure the woman mm -hmm. is also recognized yes. in governance and in leadership. Mm -hmm. Now, there are also women who feel like now they have been empowered, they have a good job, mm -hmm. and they feel like they're doing well, maybe they have built their own house and so forth. They're still single, and they imagine that is it that men fear to ask them out. <laughs> Interesting one. You know, there's, yeah, I tend to think sometimes men fear. Because mm -hmm. I know somebody who had built their own home, they're like you're saying, they're stable, they mm -hmm. have. And when they were getting married, this man didn't have a house. I okay. give examples anonymous examples yes, yes. and the man felt like the, the lady said i can't go to a rented house mm -hmm. maybe a two bedroom mm -hmm. and i have a, a, a machinette somewhere where yes. we can a bag where we can stay mm. and you know what the mm. man refused to <laughs> he the felt man, the man, the man refused. he said no i can't go to your <laughs> house uh -huh. and now here you have i try to think before you get married mm. i know sometimes men fear mm. men fear because most of the women are really empowered yes and um it's kind of the boy child kind of the boy child was left behind when women were being empowered we, we, we are coming back to pick the boy child and some girls are also complaining that topic is huge it's and huge some girl is a huge one because some girls are complaining oh i go out for a date and this man is not able to take me to a better place because they are already empowered mm. so they feel the place you are taking them is not of their standard standard yes so why will you not fear as a man? You will. You will. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you feel like, ah, this is what I can afford, but the reality is on another level. Mm -hmm. So there is that fear, definitely. Mm -hmm. But I think even if you're interested in somebody, you should not fear somebody because they're empowered. Because yes. they might be looking for a husband mm -hmm. and they might be willing to, to talk. Yes. I tend to think like, for that case that I have given an example for that lady who had viewed a home, mm -hmm. I think they should have agreed before they get married. Mm -hmm. Like in courtship, that's when you agree to talk some of these things. Mm -hmm. I have a home, I have a house. What do you think would be good for us? And then they agree, no, we'll do this and that. You have this. You know, I try to think mm -hmm. even finances and mm -hmm. money and resources mm -hmm. should be for both of you, yes. not yours and mine. Both of you because you're starting a family. People you say see. that his money is his money. Is his our money, money. Our money. His her money is her money. money. Yes, but it should be our money. Should be whether his or hers. Yeah. Should be our money. Our money. So I tend to think if you have, um, if you are come together and agree, mm -hmm. you are able even to agree. If you have a house, mm -hmm. what do we do with this house? And mm -hmm. definitely, I can't give an answer because people have different views. Yes. Some men would agree and would be very happy to move to that house. And there are those men and who are actually, happy. you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it depends with you. Is it a you question talk. of security and insecurity? Yes, definitely. Okay. Mm. So the man feels if I move Insecu in there, yeah. no, there's oh, a sense I, I of don't have control. Yeah. I have I'm no not in charge. Mm. The lady takes over. Wow. <laughs> Especially if you're a real man. <laughs> Where? A real uh, African man. Yeah, yeah, a real African man. <coughs> I mean, and, and, and now, like mm. that, this anonymous case we're mm. talking about, yes. they were already married. The, they or they were just no. about to. They, they got married. They had not agreed where they are going to stay, 
at first. I think the, wow. uh, the, the, the lady assumed, because I have a house, we'll just get married, move to my house. Those and the man was like, no way, we have to go and live to my two-bedroom house, apartment. Which I'm paying rent. <laughs> yes. And he, then the lady was like, how can I pay rent and I have a house? I'm just telling us, wow. I'm just telling you, we go and stay in my house. No. Yes. The real man, you see. Wow. <laughs> now, if such mm. a couple comes to you, mm -hmm. and they're in that situation, mm -hmm. As a coach, mm -hmm. how do they? Actually, don't advise. You, I can't give you a, a, a clear answer. Mm -hmm. As in, mm -hmm. like, go and do one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Because you have your opinion, you have your views. Yes. I might tell you this today, and mm -hmm. by the time you're outside the gate, mm -hmm. you're talking different things. I just, I think what will help is just to ask you questions, mm -hmm. the two of you. Yes. By asking you questions, which will lead you and guide you, then you're able to make your own decision. The mm -hmm. two of you will agree, just the two of you. For example, you I'm not going to advise you what to do. Like for example, mm -hmm. you can ask the man, why do you, why is it hard for you? Why yeah. You feel, what is mm -hmm. And you're help in the process, you're helping him to actually... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand. just put sense in them and mm -hmm. then they bring up the challenges that they are going through. Mm -hmm. And then out of that, they find their solution. Because solution is with every couple has their own solution. Wow. If you agree, yeah. I if you just own. agree and uh, you look at the, you know, you can look at this and that way, mm -hmm. and then you come to a conclusion. By the way, if you do this, this might be better for us. And um, the wife, uh, is she willing to... <laughs> Is she willing to submit even if you're in that house? I don't know. I don't, there are a lot of dynamics that Many happen. Because the man think because we're in her house, now if there is conflict, I might be kicked out and sh I leave her in the house. <laughs> you know, oh yes. I don't have control. Yes. There are a lot of things. So you need to make them understand from some, you can talk from like the past in their lives and then come and come to a conclusion. The bigger challenge with this specific situation mm -hmm. is that they never spoke about it earlier on. They never spoke because about it. Because they should it. have cleared yes. the air about this uh -huh. particular, this yeah. the situation they're mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. The lady already has her own house. Yes. The guy is renting. Mm -hmm. They should have spoken about it. See, mm -hmm. are we moving into which house what are, are we going, going to do? Yes. And what is next? Mm -hmm. Are we selling this house? Mm -hmm. Are we selling and building another one? Together? Yes. <laughs> Let make it. Yes. Does it make any difference yes. in a way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... I, I think these are things that we can talk about. And if you're dating, I think that is a place of seeking for counsel, mm. especially when dating. Mm. Now, please talk to us about the importance of seeking counsel, premarital counseling, mm. because I feel like some of these things are usually should be ironed out during mm. that phase. Okay, premarital counseling really helps, yes. by the way, especially if you get it we, uh, from the right people. Yes. I remember we got ours and it really helped because... Okay. At first, especially if you're getting married as a young lady mm -hmm. and as a young man, mm -hmm. there are things you don't know that, that happen in the family. Okay. You're two people coming from different families. Yes. And there are those basic that mm -hmm. there is a way you do things in your family. Yes. There is a way that your wife used to do things in her family. Yes. So you are coming from two different families mm -hmm. and you're coming to make a family. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about those things? Mm -hmm. And those are some of the things that people get into conflict for the first few days, <laughs> because you're be, like be the first few years, <laughs> first few days and first few years, yes. because you realize this how you are taught. Yes. When you wake up, you make a bed. Yes. Somebody else, yes, they just go. <laughs> they never used to make a bed. They wake up and sha, and they are gone on your mats. Mm -hmm. Get set. I, you take house. your breakfast on the table. You clean after yourself. Some leave it there. So that's you see, that's those, they those see. little things. That's how they were mm. educated. Yes, that's mm. how they grew up. Mm. So I think premarital counseling, at least it prepares you to know some of the basic and what to expect when you get into marriage. Uh, we, we, you know, I think back in the day, mm. uh, mothers were finding time to spend with their girls and aunties. Mm. They were finding time to, to spend with their girls. Mm. Uncles and mm. fathers, mm. you know, some were going hunting mm. with their sons. Mm. They spent time, mm. you know, on, they, they would light a fire in the evening mm. and they would just have a moment there mm. and just pour wisdom mm -hmm. to the young men. But I think we live in days today when parents have, they have become busy, mm -hmm. life has become mm -hmm. very fast nowadays. Uh, we don't seem to have enough time for parents to really sit down and pass on some of those things to their children. Mm -hmm. So by the time young people are getting married, mm -hmm. they are sometimes not even ready. They have cooked. <laughs> they have cooked. Yes. They are not ready for marriage. Yes. Uh, how can they find themselves? Okay. Um, 
I think we need to get back there. Okay. Experience. Okay. Because we got busy into this business of getting job, working, making money, mm -hmm. and it's kind of we've left our children, mm -hmm. and they are growing up mm -hmm. and making the wrong decisions. Yes. Just because they don't have somebody to advise them and mm -hmm. to help them. Like you said in their older days, mm -hmm. I think these men were, were, were full of wisdom, and yes. the kind of advice was they were giving to the children was very rich, if mm -hmm. I would mm -hmm. be asked, the mm -hmm. way I see it. Mm -hmm. Because I can see my dad was old and he was full of wisdom, oh, yeah. not educated in school, but full of wisdom. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to go back there because I think lifestyle, mm -hmm. education is good, but also lifestyle is also important. Okay. Because this help us to navigate things, our to navigate stages in life. Okay. When you like you're saying, that's when you get to know. I'm of age. Mm -hmm. I need to get married. Okay. At this point in time, mm -hmm. if you, for instance, is a Kijana young guy. Mm -hmm. If they have had a relationship with the dad, mm -hmm. the dad will always advise this mm -hmm. young guy. Some, of course, they will not listen to the father, mm -hmm. but some will. Some will listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where he'll be able to know, mm -hmm. okay, I don't need to get into, like you're saying, this situational mm -hmm. thing because the girl has gotten pregnant mm -hmm. or because we were doing something together and just want to get married to this person. Okay. But I need to take step one, two, three mm -hmm. before I can get into marriage. Okay. These are some of the things that I need to, to put into consideration. Okay. This is what my dad told me. This is what my uncle used to say. Mm -hmm. And maybe they hid that information, it will help them mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. However, the problem we have today, mm -hmm. we don't have time for that. Okay. And so we are raising kids who are very educated, but they don't have basics for life. Yeah. And without basics for life, now comes in issues, with the, even with marriage, mm -hmm. raising children. They mm -hmm. don't want responsibilities. Mm -hmm. You come out, you want to get married, you get married, and you stay for two years. This is just too hard for you. You are not told what is it to expect in marriage mm -hmm. and how to go about it, how to handle it. Mm -hmm and how to navigate, but you just quit mm -hmm. because kids are there, yes. your wife is there, yes. sometimes it's chaotic, mm -hmm. kids have gotten sick, mm -hmm. oh you need to do this, you mm -hmm. need to do that, mm -hmm. you need to do one, two, three, and you feel no, this, I cannot handle this, mm -hmm. it's just too much for me. Mm -hmm. But just because you are not taught, mm -hmm. or you are not told, Mm -hmm. earlier on, what is it that we need to do. Yes. So I think we need to create that time mm -hmm. as parents okay. and ensure that we are raising kids who are all around it. Yes. yes, let them get education, mm -hmm. but as well, discipline and also lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they are able to handle whatever is it that comes their way. Okay. In terms of conflict, mm -hmm. not getting the problem we have today, my dear, let mm. me tell you. Mm. You get into a conflict, mm. and the next thing, the man is the first one to move out of the house. My goodness, yeah. It's worrying. Mm. I've had it is cases and situations, I'm shocked, because mm. you'd expect the man mm. is the one to calm everything down mm. and handle the situation. Yes. As the head of the family, mm -hmm. Yet he wanted, he has demands that mm. he has to be treated as a man, mm. but he's not taking responsibility as a man. Okay. So is that too weak? Mm -hmm. The lady has to take responsibility yes. on her side. Yes. The man has to take responsibility. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to a home, me, I normally say the man is the head of the family. Mm -hmm. If there are issues, be the f man to handle those issues first. Mm -hmm. As in, don't run away from the issues. Okay. Don't go clubbing or doing other things. Mm -hmm. Or go yani, running away from home. Yes, just because ha Hanging out with men. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't want to face the situation. Mm -hmm. Stay there. Handle, handle the situation, face it head on, mm -hmm. and resolve it. Mm -hmm. And then your relationship will be able to steer from one level to another. Okay. Yeah. Now, talk about uh, in, the, in, this, in the situation where parents have mm -hmm. not been mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, when you get to a place and you mm -hmm. find uh, these guys are, in, in, and first of all, even as you get there to mm -hmm. the, with the question, mm -hmm. uh, we, we do have girls mm -hmm. who, in the unfortunate situation mm -hmm. that these a relationship mm. that happens before it is time. Maybe mm. she's a student in mm. high school, mm -hmm. primary school, mm. or maybe even in college. Mm -hmm. And then she she gets into this relationship mm -hmm. with a boy, mm -hmm. and now she's expecting. Mm -hmm. Is that sufficient ground for mm -hmm. her to actually say, I have to get married to this man? 
I don't think so. Okay. And go, let me go back a little bit. Yes. In the first place, why did the girl got herself pregnant? Mm. I would ask that. Yes. yes. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, let's go, let's go back she, from Yeah, because you can say beginning. no. Yes. Yeah. Were you getting that were you getting into that uh, situation mm -hmm. just because you want to we, we call it sex intimacy. Mm -hmm. You want to connect yourself emotionally with mm -hmm. this guy mm -hmm. before time. Maybe mm -hmm. you, you are hijacking. Mm -hmm. Let me use that one. Mm -hmm. Hijack. You are hijacking mm -hmm. because you don't want this guy to get married to somebody else. You want him to be yours. Okay. So in that, that is case, wrong. it's intentional. You it, knew what yeah, you are doing. You knew what you are doing. So I think that is not enough grounds for the man to marry you. Yes. Because maybe the man was just attracted to you. Mm -hmm. And... They were not planning to marry you. Yes. They were just observing. Yes. I don't know what happened for this to happen. Yes. I don't know who did what. Mm -hmm. But I think it's not enough grounds for the man to get married to the lady. Mm -hmm. But if the man loves the lady, mm -hmm. they can go ahead. Okay. But if the lady is the one who tricked the man, mm -hmm. then this is not right because it will be chaos in that marriage. And that's very manipulative. Yes, it's very manipulative. And the man in the first place does not love this woman. Mm -hmm. It just happened that this is a situation mm -hmm. and we have to mm -hmm. just come mm -hmm. and get married mm -hmm. just to solve things out okay. according to, to the society. Okay. Because according to us, we know our hearts, where our hearts are. Mm -hmm. Because they can clearly tell, mm, I'm not in for you, I'm not in for you. Mm -hmm. But we are doing this to please the society or what will people say. Mm -hmm. You don't have mm -hmm. to worry about what will people, people will always talk. They will always Leave them talk. to talk. Yes. Do whatever you think is good for you. Yes. I'm not telling men to go getting, making ladies pregnant and mm. leaving. Mm. You need to plan. If you make that lady pregnant, you need to marry her. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. Mm. In the first place, you are not supposed to be there. Yes. If you are having a courtship or dating, you should do whatever is, meetings should be done in the open. Yes. Where there are people, because mm. there are temptations, mm -hmm. yes. But you need to do your meetings openly. Mm -hmm. So you need to marry, it's okay to marry that woman and okay. it's good. But if you feel your heart is not there, maybe there was somebody treat the other person, mm -hmm. then that can bring issues. Can I bring think issues. you just have to part with because even if you get into a marriage, mm -hmm. it will just be problems and problems. In cases where especially it doesn't mm -hmm. result in marriage, mm -hmm. the person who's, who's left with a bigger responsibility mm -hmm. is a girl. It's a girl, yes. Because the girl will mm. go ahead and maybe continue with school. Mm. Now, the girl will even drop out of school. Yes. The guy mm. doesn't have to drop out of mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. The, guy, the mm. girl has to because, mm. you know, she has now has to, you know, go deliver. The mm. baby's too young. Mm. The baby's too young. You know, so forth and but so on. I normally say there is hope. It Definitely, even if the guy is not um, uh, taking the responsibility, that mm. thing will haunt him. It Hold will haunt him. Because I wanted to look mm. into that camera. Mm -hmm. And speak to a girl who is in a situation, yeah. who probably got pregnant, mm. and the girl and the guy and the guy did not mm. take responsibility. Mm. Uh, the guy rejected her. The mm. guy rejected the baby mm. because we have such cases. Mm. And if you can look into that camera and speak mm. life and speak mm. to hope to that girl, mm. this could be a moment of healing for that girl. Okay, I think um, I think if you are and you got into such kind of a situation, there is still hope. You can raise your child. We've seen girls who have raised their children, gone back to high school. Don't worry about your age, what people will say about you. You just know what is it that you want in life. Go back to school. If there's somebody to pay for your school fees or your parents, leave that kid with your mother or somebody who can be able to support the kid. You'll be coming home to look uh, after the kid. But then go back to school, study. Go back to campus. Excel in everything that you want to do. There is hope. There is, that is not the end, by the way. There is still hope. You can still do whatever and become whatever it is that you've always dreamt you want to become. All you need to do is to plan yourself, organize yourself, and one thing you need to know, always put God first, and God will lead you. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, especially if you are feeling like you... You have messed up, you feel like, you know, it's all gone. You can never recover. There you have it. Those are very wise words. And uh, they're coming forth with such grace. You speak with such grace. You, you speak with such a motherly spirit. Mm. I mean, and, and I believe that that is what we need to mm. give hope to some yeah. of these girls mm. who have given up on life. Mm. They, they have given up on life. They feel mm. devastated. Mm. And they wonder, how can I ever recover? Mm. Will, will I ever even be able to mm. recover? Mm. 
and, and I think that's a very strong message mm. that all is not lost, you can actually go back at it. Mm. And also for those who are not yet, who've not, yet, not yet gotten into such a situation, mm -hmm. we need to tell them yes. they need to shape up somehow. Please tell, speak to yes. them. They are watching you right <laughs> now, speak to them. <laughs> for those who are not <laughs> in touch themselves in such kind of things, you need to know what is it that you want in life. Stop getting into sex before marriage. When you get married, you have it all. Focus on your studies, pursue what you want, and excel in everything that you want to do. My goodness. Mm. Well, our time is really gone. I, yeah. can't, I can't even <laughs> believe it. But you have to have come back to the studio. Definitely. Because we need to talk about dating. We didn't even quite get into it our conversation It was so much, today. yes. <laughs> but I think that's mm. just how you are. We mm. had to clear on some of these yes. things mm. before we get into the meat of it. Mm. Because we need to look at Because there are people there. There are, there are people who feel like they are, mm. they are at an age mm. where they can mm -hmm. actually date. Mm. They just don't know mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. to go through it. Yes. People go through it like mm -hmm. the case we were discussing even mm -hmm. earlier on. Yes. And you can actually get, you know, mm -hmm. get caught up planning your wedding day. Mm -hmm. But you don't even discuss where are we going to live after mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. and, and people need to know what to do mm -hmm. when they are dating. Yes. What to do when they mm -hmm. are courting. Yes. Uh, because, because that is critical. Mm -hmm. There are people who just, um, they end up getting married. Yes. And then they are like, how could I get married to this person? Mm -hmm. And you're almost asking mm. them, what were you looking for yes. when you were courting this person? Exactly. I mean, what were you mm. looking for? Because you had, mm. a, you, had a, you, had a, you had a moment. Yes. And these words have been spoken many, many times, mm. that it's better a broken engagement mm. than a broken marriage. Definitely, yeah. But when you had the chance to break the engagement, mm. what were you looking for? Mm. You got so confused by mm. the beauty, mm -hmm. the outward beauty, yes. maybe the tall, mm -hmm. dark, and handsome mm -hmm. man, mm -hmm. maybe the money yes. and the dates were made you blind mm -hmm. that you didn't know what to ask, mm -hmm. what to look for. Mm -hmm. When we have you come back, please, we want you to talk to us about that. Definitely. We will. But before you leave today, again, mm -hmm. that is your camera. Yes. You can leave us with your word of counsel, mm -hmm. maybe your parting shot mm -hmm. as far as relationship is mm -hmm. concerned. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you can also let us know mm -hmm. how people can contact you. Mm -hmm. Because... Um, uh, you, you, you can tell us actually you can talk to somebody and tell them what you actually do mm. so they can, they can find in you someone they can talk to, mm. they can come, they can consult mm. with you mm. and how they can be able to reach you but before you do that, mm. your parting shots words of wisdom okay, okay I can say relationship is good but I normally say always, I love to use this word, first seek the kingdom of God and righteousness mm. and all shall be added unto you so it's always to, good to to keep God first before you even make a choice of the kind of a person you want to get married to. Mm -hmm. Let God lead you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So as a, as, a, as, a, as a relationship coach, also really, when you put on your heart as a mm -hmm. counseling psychologist, mm -hmm. uh, if, if somebody wants to consult with you, mm -hmm. how can they reach you? Okay. Normally consultation as in... Somebody can reach me on my contacts. Okay. That is 0718-289-341. Yes. I'll be able to reach them. One more time. Maybe someone didn't get the number correctly. 0718-289-341. Yes. Wonderful. My name is Mary. Okay. Yes. Is there an email if someone would want yes. to send an email? There is an, an email. You can always do an email to me at okay. relationshipspowerlift. Uh, dot is it gmail mm -hmm. dot sorry it's here let me just <laughs> power lift it's relationship it's there it's relationship somewhere here. power lift here I'll get it for somebody mm. all right so it's at the end of the book oh at the back at the last page at the last page sorry i got this this okay. dot, dot something all right mm. so uh, yeah. you can always reach her mm. On relationships power lift mm. at gmail at gmail yes dot com, dot com. relationships mm. power lift at gmail dot com yeah. is, is that the institution that's the 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 the, 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 the that I normally use for my relationship talks and okay. relationship counsel okay yeah and you can write to me on that it's good relationships power lift at gmail dot com mm. 